Hello and welcome to this review of the Orion Starseeker 4 150mm or 6 inch telescope. The telescope is of the go to variety, meaning it does all the hard work for you. Now I know people frown on the go to type telescopes and I deeply understand and respect that. For a beginner like me or someone looking to do astrophotography, the go to feature is a godsend. It gets you seeing the wonders of the solar system and beyond very quickly without having any knowledge of the stars. All it takes is a very quick two star alignment and it gets you seeing all those wonders in about five or ten minutes, even if you don't know what it is that you're looking at. This telescope was bought from Orion Direct at eu.telescope.com. With a 30 day money back guarantee and next day shipping, we really couldn't go wrong. The website's very clear and there's lots of information and some great videos. There's detailed guides about um, the different telescopes that they do, what available, and for beginners as well. The website also includes the Night Sky Tonight, uh, which looks at items to look at tonight and over the next few days. They do monthly star charts and lunar phases. They really have thought of everything. Our telescope was very well packed. With the outer box, as you can see here, and the inner box contains a further four small boxes with all the little parts and bits that you need for your scope. These are the four boxes that contain all the bits and pieces. I started off with the tripod. Now the tripod was packed very well uh, with a plastic wrapping bag and the foam ends just to hold it in place. It also contains the accessory tray uh, and the, uh, the tripod support as well. That was nicely bubble wrapped. The tripod legs look to be made of a thick walled steel. The extender sections are made from a strong rugged ABS plastic and these also house the thumb screws for adjusting the height. The centerpiece in the middle is where the um, accessory tray goes and that can be left connected because when you fold up the legs they uh, it doesn't impede the legs being folded up. Here's a shot of the uh, finished item put up. Now the feet here have a like a rubber compound on the bottom so that will uh, reduce a lot of the um, the vibration. This is the top section here. Now, as you can see, the screws actually have a retaining clip and springs, so they never get lost. This is the bottom view. Next to open was the accessory tray. And again, the accessory tray is made of, um, again, it's like a, a solid steel construction. It's, um, it's like a cast metal. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite hard, quite rigid and um, it is fairly weighty as well. Gives you lots of options to put your uh, different eyepieces and accessories onto that. Undoing the, the, the thumb screw that we have here now there is a little uh, washer that comes with this as well. Just be mindful that uh, you don't lose that because that's one of the only items that comes with this telescope that isn't, um, isn't connected and you may be able to lose. So, But it's very easy to set up. Just spread the uh, tripod legs out until it fits and then just uh, screw the thumb screw back on. It's very, very easy. You don't need to do this very, very tight. Just enough just to keep the legs apart.
The tripod and the accessory tray weigh just over three kilograms. That kind of gives you an idea of the weight. The next box to open here was the accessory box. And this had quite a lot of uh, bits and pieces in, all individually wrapped, just to keep everything safe so it didn't scratch or uh, damage anything. So this contains a large compass, a collimating cap, the serial computer lead. Now I'm surprised really because the serial computer lead is uh, still a standard old fashioned nine pin serial. I um, don't know quite why they're using that instead of a USB, but hey, there you go. You also get a 12 volt accessory cable or car lighter plug, a couple of Allen keys, the handset bracket, the laser finder scope and the button cell battery for it, a 23mm and a 10mm eyepiece. The next box to open was the main mount. Now the main mount is actually quite heavy at uh, 3.2 kilograms and again it comes very well packed in the box and also in a uh, plastic wrapping just to keep it safe. The main arm on the inside of the arm is a sort of cast metal and the um, same as the base and the outside section is like a, a hard ABS plastic. You can just see the switch and the, uh, the auxiliary sockets. Here we have the battery. Um, again, Orion have upgraded this, um, this mount so that you can include the batteries inside rather than having an external pouch. One of the good things about this mount uh, is that you're able to align it and use the uh, use the telescope. Um, if you undo the the tightening screw on the uh, on the mount, you are actually able to move the mount about uh, to look at something different, um, and then go back to uh, to your viewing as well. And it, there's a special thing inside the uh, uh, the mount to uh, to recognise that. Also in the box was the, the handset, this one here, that's the hand controller. So this is the last, um, the last box that we're opening and this is the, the main optical tube itself. Again, this was packed very, very well indeed in its own box with foam ends and uh, it was wrapped in the, uh, in the clear plastic bag, as you can see. Here's a better shot of it. The scope itself weighs about 3.6 kilograms, so again, it's a certainly a decent weight. Something to mention as well is that the, um, the the actual mount itself is rated for about six kilograms. So you've got plenty of play there to put things like extra cameras, um, a decent finder scope, um, a DSLR camera, whatever it is that you want to put on. It certainly gives you a lot more uh, ability to put different things onto your, uh, onto your telescope. Um, and it's not going to put any strain on the actual mount. So well done to Orion for that. So after taking the um, the plastic cover off, uh, you then have a uh, basically a wrapping of um, tissue paper, and that just keeps and protects the the paintwork. And I have to say, the paintwork on this uh, telescope is unbelievable. It's like a metallic dark red. Um, it really is very very nice indeed. Um, 
the camera shots that we have here and the website pictures really do not do it any justice at all. Um, when you've got the right lighting, it's a beautiful metallic uh, red. And it really is quite nice. Now we're fitting the, um, the mount onto the tripod now. The parts that I'm fiddling with at the moment is the, the thumb screws. Now they've got, they've, they've sort of got spring, um, spring in a clip. That means that you can just place the, um, the mount on top and then just wiggle it around and the bolts actually just shoot up into the, um, into the actual mount itself, which is brilliant. Very easy to find. Um, you could almost do that in the dark, I suppose. The main tube itself fits on just like this. Very easy to do. One little bolt that goes through um, that just holds the, um, the scope on. Very easy indeed. And that's the scope pretty much made up. At this stage we haven't put the um, viewfinder on, but we will do in the next couple of shots. So here's a shot again with the, um, with the viewfinder actually on, the finder scope on. And there you can see the uh, the Easy Finder 2, which is Orion's uh, finder scope. I have to say it's very, very good indeed. It's very, very easy to uh, to align. Uh, it's just a couple of uh, couple of little screws, uh, thumb screws. Very, very easy indeed. And in the background was the box uh, for the uh, Star Seeker camera, which uh, will be a different video altogether. One of the things I was very impressed with about this telescope was that you get these manuals. On the left hand side Starry Night uh, gives you the ability to download a copy of Starry Night and it gives you a code to do that and a special website to go to. As you can see from the manual it's very very well laid out. Um, very well laid out indeed. Lots of pictures and diagrams. Um, one of the things I liked about the manual as well was that um, this is a shot of the um, the handset menus and this is the thing I like it gave you a couple or a selection of the star charts well that's been my review here's the spec coming up now thank you and clear skies